Hey, it's Scott once again. And uh, yeah, once again, I'm coming to you from, from an outdoor setting, different place than I've been before with you. Actually, when I pan this around in a minute, I'm just realizing I came to you back in the spring from across the, the river that I'm gonna show you here in a second. But, but you notice that, uh, that golf green behind me. Obviously, uh, I've got a little golf course. This is our, our golf course in our town. I'm at the very corner of it right now because now as I pan around, you'll see the Yellowstone River right there. And, um, you know, and then I've got the, um, we've got a boat ramp where you can see that, that truck just its nose sticking out right down below there. And then we got a little uh, rodeo uh, practice arena across the street here. So we're down at the end of a road in my town where the golf course, the river where people, you know, the Yellowstone River is a blue ribbon trout stream. This is a, kind of a fly fishing destination for the United States, the Yellowstone here in Livingston, Montana. Floating the river, rodeo, um, you know, any kind of horsemanship, uh, a variety of things can happen right here. There's a little dog park right over just across the way past the boat ramp where people walk, walk their dogs. Why am I here? Why am I, I saying this to you? Well, so many of you coaches are fall sport coaches. So many of you are starting things up here in the next few weeks. Maybe you've already started. You know, some of you will say, I know, it never ended. Well, you're exactly the people I'm talking to then. Because I wanted to talk to you a little bit about balance and finding some balance in your life. As you rev up your season, as you start really getting into the grind, don't forget to find some form of balance in your life to help keep you healthy, to help keep you sharp, to help keep you focused. Because we as coaches, you know, we're passionate and we get really into it and we inundate ourselves with hours and hours of work and we get into the grind and we love it. But we can't forget these types of things as well to try to help us maintain health, and maintain relationships because don't forget part of your balance is maintaining good positive relationships relationships with the people around you with the people in your life don't forget your spouses don't forget your kids you know yes they're gonna be and this goes for anybody I mean you don't not only coaches anybody in any profession will have their moments where they really rev it up and they have to really get after it you know, and they spend a lot of hours at work. I get that, and any of you who, who, any of you would get that. But understand that as you coaches right now are gonna really start getting after it, you fall sport coaches, it's critical that you don't forget to find some time to take care of yourself, whether it be golfing or fishing or hiking or rodeo or going to movies or reading or whatever. Find some time to balance out your life as best you can. Let's keep in mind, balance doesn't mean equal. I understand you're not gonna be able to devote equal time to the other things in your life, but give it some time. Give it some time so that you can try to rejuvenate yourself during the season. You know, I spoke about and, and wrote about rest and rejuvenation at, the, at the, the end of the last school year and the start of the summer. Well, that's not just a summer thing. That's not just an off-season thing. You gotta find, find times and chances where you can get to, to some you know, rest and some rejuvenation even within your seasons. So hopefully you've got something that you plan to do that'll help keep some balance in your life because the more balanced you can be in that way, the more you can, devote, you can devote to your team, to your experience this year with your team. Um, so anyway, just wanted to talk a little bit about, about balance for you and um, hopefully you, you've got some ideas in mind for yourself. Best of luck to you as you get your season started, those of you who will be starting here, and I'll talk to you next week.